I'm excited to tell you about a recent article in Developmental Science that I prepared with my colleague Kate Einerson and the director of our research group, Dr. Laurel Trainer. Our paper is entitled, Interpersonal Synchrony Encourages Pro-Social Behavior in Infants. And in this paper, for the first time, we explore how moving to music can be a social experience for young infants. Previous work has shown that when adults move in synchrony together, for example, by marching, dancing, or singing, they're later more likely to display affiliative behaviors towards one another. Uh, this is not the case if their movements are not aligned in time or out of synchrony. Interpersonal synchrony is a key component of musical behavior, and from very early in life, infants are active music listeners. There's a body of research about how infants hear music and how they move to music, but our work is the first to experimentally investigate the social nature of musical engagement in infancy. <laughs> During the first phase of the experiment, the infant is placed in an infant carrier worn by the assistant. The experimenter stands across from the infant and music plays over the loudspeakers. The assistant bounces the infant to the beat of the song and the experimenter facing the infant also bounces, either in synchrony with how the baby is bounced or out of synchrony, for example, at a faster or slower tempo. Subsequently, we measured the infant's helpfulness towards the experimenter. To do this, the experimenter would try to complete a goal, like drawing pictures with markers, putting balls in a bucket, or pinning dishcloths up on a clothesline. In each trial, the experimenter would accidentally drop the object she needed to complete the task, and the infant was given 30 seconds to respond. We found that infants who had been bounced in synchrony with the experimenter were significantly more likely to assist with the dropped items and to help early in the trials, compared to infants who had been bounced out of synchrony with that person's movements. In experiment two, the experimenter and assistant bounced at the same speed, but in opposition to each other. With this second group of babies, we also found increased rates of helpfulness comparable to those of the babies from the synchronous bouncing condition of the first experiment. This suggests that it's the contingency and time-locked nature of the movements that drives the effect of interpersonal synchrony, as we predicted. In sum, these findings suggest that interpersonal synchrony significantly influences the social behavior of 14-month-olds. Interpersonal synchrony is a common experience in this infant social world, and caregivers often engage in tasks like singing, dancing, bouncing, and clapping with their children. Our results suggest for the first time that such activities promote socially cohesive behaviors between infants and caregivers.